linear pair. There are two adjacent angles. So a linear, um, linear pair is two adjacent angles where the sides are opposite rays. So to, therefore, to be able to create adjacent angles, we need to be able to create opposite rays. And anybody remembers a ray? Does anybody remember what exactly a ray was? Well, a line with a point. And then, so if let's say here's AB, which we label as AB, going that direction. And then we talked about opposite rays. So the opposite ray would be going in the exact same direction with the exact same. What else does it have to share? The end point, right? The angle is going to contain the vertex. So ladies and gentlemen, we could say that AC and AB are opposite rays. They share a common end point, and they go in opposite directions. And they also form a line. That's really important about opposite rays, is they form a line. Okay? Opposite rays form a line. Yes? Should they go in opposite directions? Yes. Um, I, I understand, like, yeah, you don't have to write, like, the arrow going whatever ways. You just need to say it's going to A to C, go through. But yeah, I, the arrow is just, we just go from the left to right. You don't need to say what direction the arrow is. Um, because then obviously it was like up or angle. You know, it's like, what do you do? Um, OK, so you guys understand that. So now they're saying a linear pair are two adjacent angles. So what I need to do is create adjacent angles from opposite rays. So what I can do is if I created a line, a third ray coming off that endpoint, then I maybe label these two angles. Would you say that angle A, or say angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent? No. Would you say angle 1 and 2? Let's go through the test. Do, does angle 1 and angle 2, do they share a common endpoint? Huh? A. Yes. Yeah, they share common A, right? Do they share a common line or a common side? Yes. What is that name of that side? A, B, or D, A. A, D. It's A, D. A, D, A, D, A, D. Remember, guys, our for, our angle is formed by two rays, right? So don't just label the line. Now, there's a couple ways. Sometimes we label points with the letter, but we always, we always label lines, rays, and line segments with two points. So that is a ray AD. So yeah, they share, they share a side, and they share a vertex. So therefore, this would be an example of a linear pair, OK? And really, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a linear pair, just the ones that don't set up to form a line, or if you have adjacent angles that don't set up to form a line, then are not a linear pair. Linear pair is telling you pretty much you have adjacent angles forming a line. Okay? And we'll talk about more of that in a second.